He's stupid, he's ignorant, he's lost it. The criticism mounted for Lord Howell of Guildford today. As we told you on last night's Look North, his comments in the House of Lords that, quote, parts of the North East are uninhabited and desolate have caused a storm. He was arguing that our region would be a better place for fracking operations, that's drilling and fracturing underground shale for gas and oil. But today, MPs, tourism leaders and just about everybody with access to social media sites have been tearing him to shreds. Lord Howell is a former government minister who just happens to be the father-in-law of the Chancellor, George Osborne, so he hasn't done the government any favour favours either. Here's our chief reporter, Chris Stewart, on how to lose your friends in the north. And then came this. There are large and uninhabited and desolate areas, certainly up in the part of the northeast, where there's plenty of room for fracking. There's plenty of well, well away, well away, well away from anybody's residence, well away from anybody's residence, where it would be conducted without any kind of threat to the rural environment. What we don't know is how well Lord Howell knows the North East. What we do know is that, as a government minister 30 years ago, he came here at least twice. The reaction today? Terrible, isn't it? They've never been here, so they don't know what they're missing, do they? I've been here for three days and it's very beautiful. I was really annoyed. Were you? Yes, I was. How annoyed? Very annoyed. I didn't like the way it was said, definitely not, but that's just typical southern ignorance, isn't it? Far from the northeast being desolate, it's one of the most beautiful parts of our country with, 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 with huge potential. We've had it before. Remember the art critic Brian Sewell asked about Gateshead? Gateshead is a self-inflicted wound. Bomb it. Bombs, bomb it, and then, then, you, then you'll change it. It's an awful place. So that's what they think of us. Let's, for a moment, consider their region. Well, the South East consists entirely of muggers, murderers, wide boys, barrow boys and dodgy dealers who cheerfully sell their own granny for a pound. And I should know, I've been there at least twice. But just in case I'm wrong, then like Lord Howell, I'll apologise and that makes everything all right again. Or oh, more likely, the statement will be recognised for the rubbish it is. Lord Howell was thought to be here at home today and the latest on this story is that he's accepted an invitation from the Labour MP, Ian Lavery, to visit us. More on that when it happens. Chris Stewart, BBC Look North. Well, the criticism has been raining down on Lord Howe from all sides, so perhaps not surprisingly he's apologised. Earlier, I spoke to North East-born Kevin Maguire, associate editor of the staunchly Labour Daily Mirror. I asked him if, in his opinion, an apology would do. No, Lord Howell apologising isn't enough because I think when he first spoke and called the North East desolate, he was saying what he and a lot of home counties Tories think. Some of them say it out of ignorance, others say it out of prejudice. But they almost treat the North East of England and actually other parts of England as uh, colonial faraway places where they think the natives would be happy if they turned up and gave them a few beads and bits of coloured glass. <laughs> now, he might, <laughs> he might have put this in a strange way, but some people might say, well, he maybe has a point. We do need jobs. As long as we can keep some of the revenue from this fracking, then it could be an opportunity. Yeah, the North East does need jobs because unemployment is too high, wages are too low. I suspect green technology is the future rather than fracking. But I find it a bit rich coming from Lord Howell when he's a member of Margaret Thatcher's governments which create the deindustrialisation, shut the mines, close the shipyards, and shut factories too. It's a bit rich for him coming from there. And also, if he doesn't realise the North East is beautiful, whether it's uh, down in Cleveland, the hills or the Angel of the North, Durham Dales, Northumberland National Park, the gorgeous Georgian streets of Newcastle. Well, he's from another world anyway, and he was clearly ignorant or prejudiced about the North East. He's obviously well-connected, but do you think he's in touch with the country? 
Yeah, he's very well connected because he is George Osborne, the Chancellor's father-in-law. He was until recently an energy advisor to William Hague, the Foreign Secretary. But I think he's from another planet. He's once said to have uh, remarked that George Osborne, his uh, son-in-law, actually wasn't posh because he just lived in Notting Hill. Well, Northumberland might be about to have an alien visitor in that case because he's accepted an invitation from Ian Lavery to come and have a bit of a holiday here. Do you think we might have a dramatic turnaround after that? Yeah, well, if, if Lord Howell visits the, uh, the North East, he may need uh, a bodyguard, somebody to protect him, uh, should some of the uh, local North Easterners uh, want to have a word with him. But I really think, do we want people like him running around the North East? I suspect we don't. Much better he just stays in his big house in posh bit of uh, South Eastern England and just lets us get on with it instead of insulting us. Right. Kevin Maguire, thank you.